This is Nina Curley of Wamba Media. I'm chatting with Alexis Maybank, the founder and co-founder and chief strategy officer of Guilt Group. Alexis, how are you? Great. How are you? <laughs> Great. Welcome to Istanbul. Thank you. It's not my first visit. I've been here many times, but it's so there's so much happening right now in the Turkish market. It's exciting to be here. Startups, capital being invested. There's a lot changing right now. There's a lot going on, and I guess I'll jump right into that. What is your policy on emerging markets? Do you guys have any plans to incorporate Turkey into Guilt Group or the MENA region? Already today, we're having a sizable contribution from shoppers and markets outside the U.S. We shipped over 200 countries today and make it very simple to purchase in local currency, um, ship, go across uh, uh, tariffs, uh, borders, whatever it might be. So right now we're focusing on most emerging markets through um, a globalized website. Uh, but we constantly evaluate markets and see what might make sense to expand with a physical presence. Well, do you integrate with local payment gateways? Uh, we don't need to. We, we is through uh, any number of payment systems we have on the website today, we can accept payment from over 200. Uh, countries. Many of the 200 countries we ship to are, are from across the Middle East, North Africa, um, Eastern Europe, uh, and it is a big growth area for us, specifically, specifically Turkey out of, out of the Middle Eastern regions. And so e-commerce is increasingly going mobile and social. Um, what are you guys doing to stay ahead of the trends? With mobile in particular, we're investing heavily in mobile, as, as in how we are displaying our goods for sale, our over 15 sales that start each and every day. Um, over 35% of our revenues now on a weekday come through a mobile device or a smartphone or tablet. So it's not just a, a side thing that we're thinking about, it's how we're beginning to shape our business as we look at a reality where in two years maybe we'll be a mobile only business or mobile majority business. As you guys grow, how do you keep users engaged? You've been around for a while, how do you keep things fresh? We have to do a few things. Um, I, in my presentation, I talked about wow sales we do, really unique partnerships that we can bring together given our position in the fashion industry right now. The ability to sell Lady Gaga's recent collection or dress that she wore. Um, things like that really generate a lot of buzz and excitement and allow us to bring people in. Um, but beyond that, we listen to very actively to what they like, what they need, what they love, what they don't like, and are constantly changing the site accordingly. When it comes to your presence in MENA, I mean, do you ever look to partner with local flash sales sites like Marco VIP, or would you be directly competing with them? We are, through our globalized site, selling side by side with them to, you know, to various competitors or, or already set uh, businesses in different markets. Um, and there's ways we can partner in the future, who knows? Some are doing very interesting things with private labels, some might be surfacing unique brands from a specific market that could be great to feature um, on our site or maybe serve as, as a way to bringing it into the U.S. market. So there's endless possibilities. Really cool. And just finally, can you touch upon what would your advice be for a young entrepreneur going into e-commerce? It's the best time to do it. Never has there been more money available uh, to invest, whether it's through venture capital or even um, organizations like Endeavor or lo even local governments. So it's a great time to do it. C uh, capital is available. Just never be too tied to one idea because once it is out there, once people are using your business, interacting with it, you'll learn things you never could have ever guessed that will have to do. Uh, force you to pivot your idea from one thing to another as frequently as maybe even monthly. So just know as an entrepreneur you must be flexible and nimble and always change based on what you learn once your business is out there. Seems like you guys have done a great job of that. Um, it's never over. It's never over. <laughs> thank you so much for chatting with Wamda. Thank you.